Hello, it is Seahawks fan with another Go Battle League video. We got the full shiny team. Now it is Hisui Cup, and uh, this is the last video you're gonna see of this cup. It's a little, it's it's been a little while since this happened, but full shiny team, pretty pretty fun being able to use a actual good one. Mystical Fire is gonna get another debuff. But they're stop reversing the debuff with a triple axle. They do try in a well. They they bring in Munchlax, and we have a drop in Drapion. Definitely not Drapion, but it's Drapion, and we get a defense drop from the Crunch. No shield is needed for Baldos. But we are going to be able to dish out the Aqua Tail, grab a shield or a knockout, and it's a knockout. We have the Crunch for the Bunny. A different Bunny than I'm used to playing. Don't mind them. I don't mind them letting, getting me out. Because of the turn of the Balloon Drifting. One more Mystical Fire, and uh, well, there's a uh, False Ice, yes. This is not ready for what's in the back. Evil bash it on. Yeah. Shiny bash it on closer. Terrifying. We have a bad lead, tricky lead up against Shadow Drapion. Gonna be able to dish out so much damage. They almost one shot me with the crunch. But this game is not over. I get the attack drop. I'm just shy of another attack drop, but we have Bashidon to go for the Smackdown farm down. We're going to take a hefty chunk of damage, but we do have our own dra Drapion. It's a tank growth. We have Poison Jab as a fast move, and we grab the first shield of the game. Going to shield up a box side. First move. It's fine. It's fine. Shielding up the first move. We don't need to shield up another. Crunch gets him down to red health. And we're going to be able to farm to avoid a third charge attack. Let's see. Do they bring back their own drop in? Oh, they try and make a catch. But their drift limb is... Uh, not in a winning position. They do not like the crunch either. And we do, do still have a... We still have a... Bashidon and they... Do not have any shields remaining. So that's... A tough battle for them. In the end game. We scare off a Lucario. We can bring in... A Bashidon and actually kind of want them to actually do some damage to me. I will happily take two Shadow Balls for less farm on their Lucario. And we have a Flamethrower charged up, locked and loaded to grab a shield and back to square one. Mystical Fire is no joke for this Steel type. No need a shield, but let's just be safe. It is only a power punch. And it's a, a bomb stone in the back. They have belief because they grab the shield. But this Drapion is no joke for this ice grass type. Energy ball is not going to be able to do enough. They're going to need a couple icy winds to take me out. And Poison Jab is just going to add up too much damage. Now we got a dropping in the lead again. This is uh, tricky. Just going to go straight for the attack drop. It is a non-shadow, but let's bring in the, the Bashidon. I'm fine with them chipping away at me. They definitely have a weak team to bash it on. But they riddle me down a, a good bit to give the Cresselia a nice matchup to close the mid game up. 
able to grab the first shield from them. Interesting seeing a confusion Cresselia. They're gonna need a ooh, they're gonna be able to not get the confusion down before taking getting knocked out. Let's go. Now for Drapion to come in. And we have found out the whole team, and this uh, is a commanding position for us. No need to shield up Drifling because Drapion has what it takes with that shield advantage. We have two Aqua Tails, and they are going to be taking both. Felsting uh, pretty interesting, but not. Not enough to be able to take the win. Little too much. Just just not enough left for them to take that win. Driftblim mirror match. Shiny Driftblims. We have found a drap Drapion. They're going to be able to reach a crunch before my mystical fire. Which is annoying. If I had known that, I would have just made a catch. On my bash it on, but let's bring in the mirror match because they have a full health bash it on in the back, and I wanna be be able to take care of that with my dino. They do still have another an extra shield. Can I grab a shield from them? I get the knockout, and they have the own bash it on. So it was a mirror match. Just going to go straight for the Aqua Tails. Now, this is tricky. But I do have a much healthier Bashadon. I'm going to be able to do just considerably more damage. And I think Flamethrower is actually the best. They have the second move ready. I'm going to let them land a Shadow Ball. It's not going to debuff me and going to want to save the Drifling for the end with my last shield. Now it's a little tricky. It's Icy Wind, but I get the Hex down. Two mystical fires are loaded up. One's enough for a shield, and I play it safe with the Shadow Ball because they do not have the energy needed. They had just recently uh, used a move. Now we have a Toxicroak. They're not going to appreciate this attack debuffing move. Do I want to call a bait? I do not call the bait. I expect the nuke, and I it worked. I shielded up the heavy hitting move. I don't mind taking a double attack dropped shadow ball, but that's still a lot. I don't mind having a low health for this. Be able, I'm able to grab the. Get get a knockout and not give much energy. I d I I think Bashidon is actually the best. I just want to soften up this rip barrel and then I can bring in Drapion to close out. The last shield is gone. They have a truth blimp and with the big energy disadvantage, they are no match. I even get the defense drop to over over knock out the uh the balloon. May as well shield up and not play any funny games. That's Aqua Tail to just get that last bit of health gone. Okay, now the Driftling Mirror match. Let's see if they play it differently. Well they definitely are. Gonna go straight for Mystical Fire. Their attacks dropped. I think they did the same thing. Mystical Fire again. But I don't shield this time. I don't shield like they do. 
Icy Moon Mystical Fire. Okay, not bad, not bad. Just wanted a debuff and then swap into Drapion. I've dealt some good damage into their uh, Drift Limb. And let's see how this matchup goes. They have the charge attack priority, I think, or they... Yeah. Which is a little surprising. Or maybe they just threw the move first. Able to take the Licky Licky out and find the Drift Blend again. They do avoid the Crunch Knockout, but let's see. Do they have a Bash It on counter? They're going to go for the debuffs. What hope do they have? The lag. And let's see what's in the back. Well, they saw the Licky Licky. You be lag. And I'm sure lots of people. If, you, if you're watching, I hope you're happy to see. And uh, yeah, it's uh, Bronze on. Not the Pokemon too suitable. But there's no need to show the battle after they uh, left, after they crashed out. The first pursuing quillfish the whole time of the whole cup I saw. Actually, no, I did see one before in a different team. But Chatterball would have done, uh, would have knocked me out probably. So let's debuff again so we can survive one. But we actually just, uh, Bring in Drapion, not trying to risk a potential knockout. We have dragged in the penguin. We are going to bait with a Aqua Tail. It's not enough for a knockout. Hydro Cannon is enough, but they're low enough for us to smack down before the next move. The Quillfish is back with Aqua Tail. Another Aqua Tail's locked and loaded. And it's a f another Drift Lamp. Let's see. Are they going to shield the Stoners? They do. We have Shadow Ball. I'm expecting a debuff move, and it's Icy Wind, which would have been enough on Knockout. So, Wise Shield. Shadow Ball takes out their Balloon. We have just enough to reach the Mystical Fire in time. And yeah, I mean, this team was really good. If the couple turns, I definitely recommend trying it out. Of course, there's also Shadow Drapion, which will be very nice. Actually, the shadows of this whole all Pokemon in this team. Ooh. Toxic Croak, no match for the Drift Blame. It's Sludge Bomb, nice, very nice. They have a warmer dam? Well, damn. That's crazy. They're not going to like the mystical fires. <laughs> Able to grab both shields. And I still survive long enough to reach a third one. And I find a Lucario, which does not want to see a shielded up Drapion. It's fair enough that it does not want two Aqua Tails. It's only a Power Punch again. I survive the Power Punch, boosted Power Punch. Goodbye, Lucario. And now we just win. Oh, this is fun. A ghost matchup, it's a Fossas, which does not want the Mystical Fire. They expected something they would not appreciate. We expected something I would not appreciate. And they make a predict nice prediction and catch the next mystical fire. But we have a drop in Drapion. They're gonna be able to get to move first. Just just gonna go for the knockout. Not too bad of a knockout. Let's see what comes in. Is it the Fossil's returning? It is. Avalanche, I'm guessing. It is a knockout. And we 
want to stall out the timer so we can bring in Bashidon and follow their switch in. That's not enough for a Shadow Ball. That's not enough for a Shadow Ball, but silly me, I still shield. But we do have two Mystical Fires, and this Lucario is a goner. Kaboom! Get get burned. Frost Slice is not going to have enough to take out the Bastion in time. It needs three Shadow Balls. Three. Yeah. After seeing the damage, it, it, it knew. We got a shiny Lucario in the lead. We scare it into Drift Blim. We counter it completely with the Bashidon. And I actually want them to be damaging me to give less farm to that Lucario. Another debuff, that's fine, that's fine. Lucario's still not gonna appreciate Flamethrower. Gonna go straight for the Flamethrower. Still does half the health. And we have enough health for a second flamethrower. A shield has been taken. Just going to go straight for the flamethrower. Uh, mystical five. <laughs> Another five move. And we get that attack drop. Going to risk it for the biscuit. And I will, uh, yeah. Drift flame just closing out this battle. Okay, no. We, we give some glory to drape down still. I, I guess I kind of just wanted them to be like, nope, this this game is lost. But two Aqua Tails takes out the last two Pokemon. And no shields needed. No shields needed. Beautiful lead up against Gashadon. But happy they swapped into this Penguin because it's a bit of a problem. And we can get that nice attack drop. Gonna shield up a Hydro Cannon and dish out a Crunch to grab that KO, and they are happy to bring in the Gastrodon back. But we know we just want to get some damage or a shield or a defense drop, and we get the third thing. Aqua Tail grabs another sh uh, a shield from them. Now we can't have them swapping out immediately. When we are locked into Driplin, but it's a water pulse. It's a water pulse, Gastrodon. That's some nice ability to actually go up against Driplin. Uh, the Shadow Ball's not enough. We have two moves, uh, almost two moves, but we can at least use one. We're going to be able to withstand a fast move damage, and we take the win. Surprisingly close battle with that water pulse. But I hope you enjoyed this fun, full, shiny, actually quite meta, Sui Cup team. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for daily Go Battle League videos and other Pokemon Go content. Have a great morning, day, night. Take care. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.